Blog Talk Radio. You don't understand, see? You don't yeah. get it. People don't understand, I'm man. I'm a free man. Rodney I don't mean King. just out of jail. I am. They just don't free know. Free at last. Corey Jackson, <laughs> man. More <laughs> magic than ever. How that many more, sure man? My boy, my brother. My brother. Wow. You gotta get out of stop, man. Oh, you gotta get to free. I have got to get free. You gotta put a stop, man. You gotta get free. You gotta get free. You can't keep doing it. My yeah, yeah. Uh, this tale is ill, the autobiographic is real, so I share it from deep in my memory film. 11, 40, 35, then scrapped on his khaki suit, I set across from my brother, trapped in his cell room, different families around, attempting to heal wounds, conversation by the hour for dark souls to soothe, but this case is different, it's tell a treacherous niggas, cowards my brother trusted that became his false witness, picture this, a small town, locale with southern state, and that serves as the framework that outlines the case, the murder to claim. Victim of another race She had status and spoke to governors face to face More fuel for the flames of supremacy and hate That blacks will never escape without God's grace On the court date they brought him in shop he took the stand Third black boy being charged for death by one hand An argument in another state that wouldn't have a chance But the commonwealth of Kentucky is a southern land That still got problems with brothers from the motherland They judge us not by character but by skin But in this case it was one negro head They said similar to his in the car where she disappeared Funny how many black Got similar hair, we unlucky Evidence they use when they argue that trial But never tested DNA and put it on foul It's all foul and wow, 50 years they gave him Throughout trial never showed his involvement with the plan Just hear say from inmates and the main suspect You don't understand, you don't get it I'm a free man and I don't mean just out of jail I am free at last I get free, man. <clears throat> Be more substantial yeah. evidence, man. Yeah. Uh, testimony from local bums in a segregated city when? is the evidence they use to convince the jury committee. How? But really, that's only the second level of injustice. Mm. The first level was the lie detector test they shuffled. Uh. The main suspect fell too. He fell too. But detectives lied to the judge to, to get, get a warrant through. For who? You guessed it, my brother's name, name in a loop. The table now set for southern hospitality too. And they be cooking black boys by ones and groups. Straight out their youth, they stamp them by stretching the truth. No, but don't get it twisted. I hate anything that's corrupt. But when the government is guilty, tell, tell me who can you trust? Nobody. Now 14 of the 50 years, my brother is done. No. And never had nothing to do with, with the, the death, death of the gun. gun. But was violently prosecuted by a snake with a tongue. No wonder we burn with hatred like the rage of the sun. Let me ensure that I am through walking on the wild. That's all I've been trying to tell you. I have been sick with the social ills. And if another late edition of Crime Scene Investigation, due to the weather, we pushed it back one hour. So good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you and yours, wherever you are on this world's wide web. You are listening to Crime Scene Investigation, brought to you by the Men Empowered Organization on the Blog Talk Radio Network at blogtalkradio.com. My name is Brother Malachi on a wet and cold Tuesday evening right here. We have the 12 Patriots, and tonight we are featuring the Testament of Issachar concerning simplicity. We'll be right back to get into it. You're in tune to Let's Talk Crime Scene Investigation. Here's Lionel Jones right here. Can you stand the rain?
jazz gospel sound of Lionel Jones, taken from the CD, Papa Jones CD, a little bit of taste of new editions, uh, the uh, selection right there, don't let me go any further. I tell you, this rain is hitting my studios here as well as my home, and I, I tell you, uh, I'm not going to let you know what I'm, right now, as soon as I get through with this broadcast, I'm going to bed, and I am going to be next to my wife, and enough said about that. I know what you're thinking. It's too much information, Malachi, but anyway, let's get on with the Testament of Issachar concerning simplicity. Paragraph 1, the record of the words of Issachar. He called his sons and said to them, Hearken, my children, to Issachar, your father. Give ear to my words, ye who are beloved of the Most High. I was the fifth son born to Jacob, even the higher of the mandrakes. For Reuben brought in mandrakes from the field, and Rachel met him and took him, and Reuben wept, and at his voice Leah, my mother, came forth. Now these mandrakes were sweet-smelling apples, which the land of Aaron produced on high ground below a rivet of water. And Rachel said, I will not give them to thee, for they shall be to me instead of children. Now there were two apples, and Leith said, Let it suffice thee that thou hast taken the husband of my virginity. Will thou also take these? And she said, Behold, let Jacob be to thee this night instead of the mandrakes of thy son. And Leo said to her, Boast not and volate not thyself. For Jacob is mine, and I am the wife of his youth. But Rachel said, How so? For to me was he first is found, and for my sake he served our father fourteen years. What shall I do to thee? Because the craft and the sub sublimity of men are increased, and craft prospered up on the earth. And were it not so, Thou wouldest not now see the face of Jacob, for thou art not his wife, but in craft wert taken to him in my stead. And my father deceived me and removed me on that night and suffered me not to see him. For had I been there, it had not appeared, it had not happened thus. And Rachel said, Take one mandric, and for the other thou shalt hire him for me for one night. And Jacob knew Leah, and she conceived and bare me. And on account of the hire, I was called Issachar. Paragraph 2. Then appeared to Jacob an angel of the Most High, saying, Two children shall, be shall Rachel bear. For she had refused company with her husband, and had chosen tensity, and had not Leo, my mother, given up the two apples for the sake of his company, she would have borne eight sons. And for this thing she bare six, and Rachel too, because on account of the mandrakes the Most High visited her. For he knew that for the sake of children she wished to company with Jacob, and not for lust of pleasure. For she went further, and on the morrow to, to gave Jacob that she might receive also the other mandrake. Therefore the Most High hearkened to Rachel because of the mandrake. For thou she desired then, she ate them not, but brought them to the priest of the Most High, who was at that time, and offered them up in the house of the Lord. Paragraph 3. When therefore I grew up, my children, I walked in uprightness of heart, and I became a husband, a husband for my parents and my brethren, 
and I brought in fruits from the field accordingly to their season. And my father blessed me, for he saw that I walked in simplicity, and I was not busybody in my doings, nor malice and slanderous against my neighbor. I never spoke against anyone, nor did I censor the life of any man in simplicity of my eyes. Therefore, when I was 30 years old, I took to myself a wife, for my labor wore away my strength, and I never thought upon pleasures with women, but through my labor my sleep suffered, suffered me. And my father always rejoiced in my simplicity, for on whenever I labor, I offered first to the Lord by the hands of the priest of all the produce and the all first fruits, then to my father, and then took for myself, and the most high increased twofold his benefits in my hands. And Jacob also knew that the Most High aided me simplicity, for on every poor man and every one in distress I bestowed the good things on the earth in simplicity of heart. We'll take a break right here, and we'll conclude with 4 through 7. You're listening to Crime Scene Investigation. We're looking at the 12 patriots of the right back. of Issachar. We're on paragraph 4. And now hearken to me, my children, and walk in simplicity of heart, for I have seen in it all that is well-pleasing to the Most High. The simple convert not gold, de defrauding not his neighbor, longeth not after manifold, dainty delighted, delighted nor apparel. Do not 
picture to himself to live a long life, but only waited for the will of the Most High and the spirit of error have no power against him. For he cannot allow within his mind a thought of female beauty that he should not pollute his mind in corruption. No envy can enter into his thoughts. No jealousy melt, melted away his soul, nor do it he brawl over again, over again with insensible desire. For he walketh in uprighteousness of life and beholdeth all things in simplicity, not omitting, omitting in his eyes malice from the error of the world, lest he should see the perversion of any of the commandments of the Most High. Paragraph 5. Keep therefore the law of God, my children, and get simplicity, and walk in gulliness, not prying over curiosity into commands of God, and the business of your neighbors, but love the Lord and your neighbor, have compassion on the poor and weak, bow down your back unto husbandry, and labor in tillage of the ground in all manner of husbandry, offering gifts unto the Lord with thanksgiving, for with the first fruits of the earth did the Lord bless me, even as he blessed all the saints from Abel even until now. For no other portion is given to thee than of the fatness of the earth, whose fruits are raised by toil. For our father Jacob blessed me with blessings of the earth and of first fruits. And Levi and Judah were glorified by the Lord among the sons of Jacob. For the Lord made choice of them and to and the ones he gave the priesthood, to the other the kingdom. Then therefore obey and walk in simplicity of your father. For unto the Most High had it been given to destroy the temptation that are coming upon Israel. Paragraph 6. I know, my children, that in the last times your sons will forsake simplicity and will cleave unto avarice and leaving Goliness will draw near to malice, and forsaking the commandments of the Most High will cleave unto Belial, and leaving husbandry will follow after their wicked devices, and shall be dispersed among the Gentiles, and shall serve their enemies. Now this right here looks like the prophecy of Deuteronomy chapter 28, pretty close to it. And do you therefore command these things to your children, that if they sin, they may, they may the more quickly return to the Most High. For he is merciful and will deliver them even to bring them back into their land. Paragraph 7. I am 122 years old, and I know not against myself a sin unto death, except my wife. I have not known any woman. I never committed fornication in the haughtiness of my eyes. I drank not wine to I drink not wine to be led astray thereby. I convert not any desirable thing that was my neighbor's goal never entered in my heart. A lie never passed through my lips. If any man grieved, I wept with him, and I share my bread with the poor. I never ate alone. I moved no landmark. In all my days I wrought godliness and truth. I loved the Most High with all my strength. Likewise also did I love every man even as my own children. So ye also do these things, my children, and every spirit of the lie shall flee from you, and no deed of malice Men shall rule over you, and every wild beast shall be subdued. Having with yourself the God of heaven, walking with men in simplicity of heart. And he commanded them that they should carry him up to Hebron, and bury him there in the cave with his fathers. And he stretched out his feet and died. And fifth son 
of Jacob in a good old age, and with every limb sound, and with strength unabated, he slept the eternal sleep. Now, testaments that I'm reading looks like they're almost like Proverbs. We could use this in our lives and just go ahead and just constantly read over them so it would be, uh, be a part of our spirit. Therefore, if we do this on a daily basis, we shouldn't have any problems with the temptations of the world. On tomorrow night, we will go with the Testament of Zebulon concerning compassion and mercy. Well, brothers and sisters, it's been a, a long wintry night, and we're going to end it short tonight. And I hope everyone was blessed by the reading of the word. And we will see you tomorrow, tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. So this is Brother Malachi wishing you the very best in the Most High's Word. Shalom. From the minute that you born, your body starts to decay okay. Your skin and your hair will turn wrinkle and gray Great. One thing for sure, we gon' pass away Wait. That's right, dog. you wasn't put here to stay uh. I know you think you gon' live forever You keep telling yourself you should chase cheddar Jump. I can't front, I wanna be rich too But I'm smart enough to know you can't take it with you uh. You got the car, uh -huh. got the cribs Ride through the hood and everybody know you're rich Believe me, money do make life easy When you can make it rain like Fat Joe and Weezy uh. Brunch in Paris, dinner in America, this morning Chanel, tonight it's terrible. I got ice in my rolling, rims in the car, I could buy out the bar, show the world I'm a star. G4 flies to Sandro Pay, look, I know you're trying to get paid, and all that money do sound real nice, but you don't got nothing if you don't got price. Can't take me with you, they wanna be, can't take me with you, they wanna be Money's everything, but it's not nice. The things people do for the guap, guap. Rap, uh, sell out their souls on a track Some on. would even sell to their own mama crack. crack Rich people got it and they cheat on their tax Girls sell their bodies and they lay on their back Some of them strip and make a porn flick fake Like you're homeless and then walk with a limp For oil and diamonds, so many died So many nations face genocide Man, no matter how you get it, you're dead wrong If you think you can take it when you're dead and gone All money does when they zip you in the plastic, it's fine and we keep it all alive with the jazz. I can't take it with you, they wanna be, I can't take it with you, they wanna be all I see. Come on, come on, baby. I can't take it with you, they wanna be, I can't take it with you, they wanna be all I see. Come on, come on, baby. You got 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds, your clock's ticking. Time moves fast, come on. and all the money in the world can't buy back a second of your past. Uh, can't buy breath when you pass in the way. No, to tell me what the value of today I discovered at last. Uh -huh. You're really poor if all that you got in this world is cash. Uh -huh. I got Jesus, uh -huh. I'm not a hostage. No longer living in bondage, nope. addiction's gone. Since I met the Savior, believe me, uh -huh. I know all about favor. Uh -huh. I know about joy. I can smile. I know about the Father's love for a child. I know what it's like to have bitterness gone I know what it feels like to sing a new song Rest in his arms, peace within I'm a better man, jump free from sin In my life after, I'm a reign as a king And I think it didn't cost me a thing I can't take it with you, they wanna be You can't take it with you, they wanna be R-I-C-H Come on, come on, hey I can't take it with you, they wanna be